guest who's taking that forward. She's, she's been appointed from a role in government. She's actually one of our counterparties when we um, were discussing the devolution. <coughs> Within that, there is quite a large team of employment skills who were already being employed by Knowsley on behalf of the city region, who've been who've come across to the combined authority. So it's actually not new cost to the city region, and Knowsley have been able to make uh, savings as a result of that transfer of staff. So the existing employment skills team is within that. Um, so, so in the budget, there wasn't an additional 1.5 million of policy staff. It was, was recognising that. Uh, it was a much smaller number. It's about 800,000 of that was already being picked up by the employment skills team. We had a commercial and development and investment budget line, which is related to managing that single investment fund. It's a real specialty that we didn't have in the combined authority. You wouldn't expect us to have. It's not particularly a public sector skill. So we've appointed a guy called Mark Bousfield as director in that area, who is an investment banker. His background is ethical investment banking. He's worked for an organisation that's worked within the city region for many years. Um, and he's, he's, he's originally from the Wirral. He's very excited to be part of this project. And there will be a team of specialist investment advisors that surround Mark. At the time we, wrote, we constructed this budget, an awful lot of this work was being externalised. That was only uh, appointed from June, but we are able to internalise much of this work now. So when we revise the budget, which I'll come to, you will see, or expect to see, it's actually a smaller number for the commercial and investment team, because we've internalised a lot of the resources that had to go out. And typically they were going out to to bigger firms and consultancies and the rates that we would charge were professional rates, not, not as you'd imagine, not, not cheap. But again, if you look at the size of, of the undertaking, it isn't an area where we would if we didn't invest in this area, we would lose money as a combined authority because we'd make the wrong investment decisions. And you know, the pot is you know probably a billion pound over the course of the next few years potentially. Um, so we do need to invest in the management of it to make the right decisions. Economic development and strategic management. It looks like a small number. It recognised at the time of the budget that the left was already providing a lot of those functions. So this is really the incremental cost of it and the districts were already had a role in this area. Um, and then there is an element of transport strategy and managing and commissioning transport. Now what happened is, and this has already happened, is the transport policy function of Mersey Travel has basically joined the policy function of the combined authority. So that the combined authority can make sensible, coherent policy decisions. So rather than have one side looking at transport, someone else looking at skills, someone else looking at economic regeneration, we're recognising that most projects, if they're good, um, will have Transport object, transport elements, skills elements. You know, we've already talked about. Um, Steve's already talked about the apprenticeship issue, and that's a perfect example of employment and skills recognising there was an issue, but it's actually a transport solution to that issue, which will unlock the employment and skills. Equally, it's transport that will unlock some of the areas and brownfields for development. So that though does not mean that there's an additional transport cost. We adjust the Mersey travel budget for that. There's not new staff within that. Uh, it's people who are already employed by Mersey travel taking a role within the combined authority. And then corporate services is principally the area that, um, that I manage, and that's finance, legal, the program management office, and internal audit. Again, that 1.6 million does <coughs> That's not additional cost to the combined authorities. A lot of staff within that were already employed by Mersey Travel. So the combined authorities will only pick up the incremental additional cost of uh, those support services, which will be obviously not, you know, because of economies of scale, supporting both organisations. We've made really big savings in this area. All the combined authorities have had to set up 
entirely new finance functions, legal functions, etc. Um, we've not had to do that. We can build on what we've already got. Um, you know, th there is only one finance director, but the combined authorities have one for transport and one for the other functions. So there's a lot of economies of scale in that area. And again, we adjust the Mersey travel budget accordingly. So what we've got is a combined authority total cost of 8.6 million at the start of this year, but um, we were able to top slice 2.4 million from the money that were coming in, the money we're already spending, Mersey travel money, uh, leaving a net cost of 6.2. And it's that 6.2 that the districts have had to assist the combined authority this year in finding funding for, and it's the 6.2 sit for a piece of work now to try and see how we can fund it into the future. Now, Steve mentioned it was quite dynamic. The, that 8.6 is now, when we revise the budget, will be greater because there are new responsibilities that have been passed to us this year around housing, managing that adult education budget, which is huge for us. Where we can, we'll top slice those fundings, but there are areas where me, we might not be able to do so. Um, that will be picked up in next year's budget. What I can say though is that that 6.2 won't change this year. So while the, while the gross amount might move up, the net amount won't. What that means in terms of actual individuals at the end of the mm -hmm. combined authority employees, which uh, I was asked for something to feed back on. We had an establishment set that all the establishment um, information that we had, because we built, bear in mind, it's constructed an entirely new organisation. The first stab of this two years ago assumed that, um, and this is what we 